Among some of the greats in the modern missionary movement like Henry Martin and Raymond Lull is the story of Samuel Zwemer. And this is a biography called Apostle to Islam with a picture of him ministering while he was in Egypt. In his office there, he spent time with the Nile Evangelical Press in Egypt. Quite a remarkable story of a man who was born in western Michigan, where I spent much of my life. He died actually the year after I was born. He lived from 1867 to 1952. And from 1891 to 1929, he served the Lord in places like Basra, Iraq, and Saudi Arabia, and Egypt, and in the little island kingdom of Bahrain. He was a very prolific writer, although they say that he may have seen less than 20 people converted in the Muslim world, yet he wrote more than 50 books uh, studying Islam, explaining uh, how to reach out to Muslims, and they say that he was one of the most prolific influences in encouraging people into the mission field. So he's the sort of man that uh, we want to study and to think about his understanding of the gospel and how it impacts those who are still in the Muslim world. As I was reading his story recently, I was deeply moved as I read about his marriage to a British nurse by the name of Amy Elizabeth Wilkes. And they settled on this little island kingdom of Bahrain, which is uh, just off the coast of Saudi Arabia. It's a strategic location economically because it's one of the ports for a, a great deal of shipping in the Persian Gulf. And it's tethered to Saudi Arabia by a $900 million causeway, which was built by the Saudis. The city of Bahrain, which basically takes up the largest island, is mostly a Muslim city. However, many of the people who come to work there come from other parts of the world, most of them from India, some from Pakistan, uh, from Palestine, and other places. And it seems that the kingdom of Bahrain has been more tolerant of Christianity they appreciated the work of Zwemer. They started a hospital there, in fact, a hospital that's still running on the island. And they found open doors for the gospel. I happened to visit Bahrain some years ago and was quite amazed at the ministry of the Christians there on that island. In fact, they have an arrangement with the mosque to use their parking on Sunday and were able to get Bibles into the hotel rooms there and have had quite a godly influence on the island. It was there in the year 1904 that a dysentery epidemic broke out on the island and it was a huge tragedy to the Zwemer family that their oldest and youngest girls Amy, age seven, and Ruth, age three, both died within a few days. There's a little Christian cemetery there, and these two little girls were buried on the island of Bahrain. I was deeply moved as I read the epitaph that Mrs. Weimer wrote to put on those stones. It's a phrase taken from the book of the Revelation, uh, chapter 5 and verse 12, where we read, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive riches. And there that dear couple laid those two little treasures, two little souls who were sacrificed for the cause of Christ, two little ones that they uh, waited to see again in the gates of glory. And we remember how the scripture says, they shall be mine in the day that I make up my jewels. Something that we should never forget, the cost in missionary lives, many of them little children. I remember visiting a large Buddhist graveyard in Japan 
and there was a little corner of Christian graves, and many of them little children. And what hope and what encouragement I received from the faith of these parents as they laid these little ones to rest, who were just as much martyrs as the adults were in the giving of lives for the cause of the Lord Jesus. What a day it will be when the whole story is told and when these dear ones who gave up so much for the cause of Christ will discover in that day that these treasures have been kept safe in the arms of Jesus. Worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive riches even the riches of our own children entrusted to him that these treasures that he will keep safely for us until the day when we are reunited with them again.